Houston of the NBA on 2K Sports. It's Houston and Chicago. Ready, gentlemen? Ready? Tip off goes to Houston. Here's the starting group for Houston. Moda Yunus and Howard, the post pair. Harden and Ariza filling out the perimeter. And it's Lawson in at the one spot. Now here's Ariza. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the bump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Pass to Jordan. From 10 feet out, it's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Don't take your eyes off of him because he can make plays from multiple spots on the floor. Put the isolated cam on it. Here's Lawson. Harden outside. Takes the three. That one falls. Coming off Lawson's feet. Harden's got his first three points of the game. Houston on D. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, they were in a funk from the field in that game. Credit the defense, though, because even when they got open looks, no rhythm to knock them down. Hey, guys. Hey, every team has a night like that on occasion. It happens. Hey, we call them gong games. You just want to hit the gong, forget about them, and move on. Now here's Pippen. Jordan up top, guarded by Harden. The shot's good from Jordan. I like it. I like it. He broke out the fancy finish there. It's Ariza on the wing. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Boy, that's a nice feed by Lawson. Little over a minute 30 into this first quarter. Pippen dishes to Jordan. Grant gets to Pippen. He feeds it to Armstrong. Shot's good. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Well, I spoke with the head coach of the Bulls. He said that they'd be focusing a lot of their defensive energies on containing Ty Lawson, especially in transition. He added, Lawson is one of the fastest players in the league, so if you let him get out and run, you're putting yourself at a huge disadvantage. We've got to keep him in the half court and limit his penetration. Guys? Always great to hear from you, Doris. Here's Jordan following the score by Trevor Ariza. And you really thought that was going to be a gimme but unable to convert. Yeah, and a little self-talk, angry self-talk for himself after that miss. Moda Yunus has the open look, and another three for Houston. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Cartwright with a screen on Ariza. Here's Pippen, and the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Williams is checked in for Cartwright. The Bulls shooting their first free throw of the evening. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Harden the pass to Lawson. There's a screen by Moda Yunus from Deep Harden. That is in there. Lawson with the assist. Lawson's got his third assist on the night. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision-making for them offensively. Absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding, and they're piling up the assist. And you see a move like that, Scottie Pippen may be the prototypical NBA slasher. That's a smooth, old-school move right there. Now, here's Lawson. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Here's Harden. Not enough on that one as it misses. Chicago trailing here. Here's Jordan. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Jordan's got six points. Jordan's gotten three of his four shots to fall, hitting 75%. Lawson drives in. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there, Greg. The Rockets shooting their first free throws here for the night. Oh. 
Okay, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he makes the first. Chicago making some changes. Will Purdue's checked in for Grant. McCray has come in for Pippen. And it's Paxson in for B.J. Armstrong. Houston also making some changes. Terrence Jones has checked in for Monte Yunus. Brewer comes in for Trevor Ariza. And it's Patrick Beverly in for James Harden. That one misses. Here's Chicago. They trail by one. Paxson kicks to Jordan. That one off the back iron and out. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the first. And there's the feed to Beverly. Fires the three. Can't get it to go. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Paxson passes to Williams. But drive by Jordan. Jordan can't get that one to fall. Lawson against Paxson for three. That one's rebounded by McCray. A clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. Here's Jordan. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Marcus Thornton, he's checked in for Ty Lawson. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Chicago. We've seen a lot of their points coming off penetration in the first half. Something else they've been able to do so far tonight is earn those tough points in the paint. Now here's Beverly. Howard setting the pick for Beverly. To the paint, deflects the pass, taken away by Williams. 52 seconds left in the first. A shot by Jordan, no good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Beverly dishes to Thornton. And the three ball is good. Thornton's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. The D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been of the three-point variety. And, and you need the defense to stop the bleeding. Now here's Jordan. He's got nine. That doesn't go either for Jordan. And Beverly kicks to Brewer. Jordan against Thornton. Screen by Howard. Back to Beverly. From deep. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. Rockets lead by one. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Rockets. Well, I'll tell you what, they must have had a good shoot around because they've been fantastic from long range so far, fellas. And also another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the basketball.
For Chicago, they won their last contest that game against the Magic. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. Taking a look at the Bulls. They've got Pippen. Davis is out there with Grant. Then there's Armstrong. And it's Paxson in at the two. Just five to shoot. It's stolen by Ariza. And it's Houston on the break. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. This season, 88% on the line, so he has been in a comfort zone. And I think it's clear he's gotten better in that department since last season. I mean, he looks a lot more comfortable at the line now, and he's getting better results. Ariza hits them both. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Bulls trail by three. Pippen with it. The pass to Paxson. Inside. Here's Armstrong. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. B.J. Armstrong taking two shots. That free throw, no good. Ty Lawson, he's checked in for Houston. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. I didn't expect that result when he stepped up there. I'll bet he didn't either. As good a foul shooter as he is. There's the dish to Harden. Feeds to Jones. Passes to Lawson. Jones with the screen on Paxson. Pippen with the steal. Armstrong against Harden. Pippen the pass to Paxson. Grant outside. It's Pippen on the wing. Covered by Modi Yunus. It's Pippen with a drop. Oh! And that's a punch to the jaw. This game is tight as it can be, and he pulls something off that we might not even see in the All-Star game, Kevin. But, Clark, I don't know that he planned it out too far in advance. That was one of those things that, that you know, just happened. I yeah. think it was premeditated. <laughs> I, I really don't. I, I think that he's one of those guys that just plays off of instinct, and, and they don't mind him making those kinds of plays, even in a close game. And that last replay, courtesy of Kia. Here is Armstrong. Ty Lawson making his last shot. Screened by Grant. Pass to Paxson. Tries from 10. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Well, I think he shouldn't have forced that one. Instead, he should have passed it off. The shot's good from Lawson. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Now here's Pippen. Seven points in the game. Shot clock at five. And Jones pulls it down. Rockets leading by five. Screen by Jones. A reason no one. And here are the Bulls now. Next up on the dock at the Bucks following this one. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Pass to Paxson. Dishes it to Grant. He kicks to Armstrong. Releases. And he overshot that one, missing. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Bulls trail by five. 
Clark some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. There's the pass to Paxson. Back to Pippen. Shot from 12. And again, no good by Chicago. Now here's Lawson. Five points in the game. This one for three. B.J. Armstrong comes up with the rebound. To the inside. Got it, and the Houston leads been cut down to three on the bucket from Paxson. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. And Clark, it's a strategy that has served them well during the course of this first half. Yeah, it looks like he saw some things out there that, that need to be adjusted, and it's going to take a break here and talk it over. Hey, you know, coaches sometimes need a break in the action to rethink and retool a bit. Anytime you, you're in that situation, it makes sense to use the timeout. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Cartwright's checked in for Davis. Williams comes in for Grant. McRae's checked in for Pippen. And it's Jordan in for Paxson. Houston with a big group substitution here. Howard's checked in for Terrence Jones. Brewer comes in for Trevor Ariza. Marcus Thornton, he's checked in for James Harden. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Ty Lawson. Now here's Beverly. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. There's a screen by Modi Yunus. And Howard, here we go. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. And that's such solid, fundamental basketball on display right there, guys. You, you talk about it all the time, Greg. Yeah, great use of the pick to set up the dunk. And, guys, it was a terrific understanding between teammates that made that possible. They really did read each other well there. Here's Jordan following the score by Houston. Kicks to Armstrong. Latrey, that's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Really good job of creating just enough space to let that one fly. Howard with a screen on Armstrong. In the corner, it's Brewer from downtown. Count the bucket. Brewer's got the lead back up to five now for the Rockets. And how about that? for a response. Well, it sounded as though, or at least it looked as though it sounded like, we'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. No luck. And it's Chicago the other way. Armstrong kicks to Jordan. Pulls up on the wing, and good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Jordan's got 11 points. Easy little jumper for him right there, guys. And stolen by Jordan. Fast break. Here we go. Jumps up. Flushes it down to finish the break. Great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and trigger the fast break. And now just a one-possession game thanks to that quick hitter. Outstanding play in the open court. Jordan against Thornton. Fires for three. Cartwright using his tremendous length to grab the ball. And we're through the first half of basketball here in what's been a good one. Houston on top. They're up by one. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball.
Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Jordan having a terrific game. He's got 11 points and two steals. Offensively, defensively, man, he has done it all. All hustle, nonstop effort. He just doesn't quit. Great resilience and relentlessness in his play. So on the floor for Houston, Harden and Ariza filling out the perimeter. Moda Yunus and Howard the post pair. And it's Lawson in at the point guard position. Grant against Moda Yunus. The feed to Pippen. Six on the shot clock. For the lead. For Chicago, they won their last contest that game against the Magic in Orlando. And Lawson, here we go. That one goes. Count it, Lawson. Lawson's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Rockets. Bulls trail by three. Armstrong kicks to Grant. Jordan against Harden. Jordan the pass to Cartwright. And here's Armstrong. Seven points in the game. Five on the clock. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got his fifth rebound in this one. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. Lawson dishes to Harden. He feeds it to Howard. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. John Paxson, he's checked in for Chicago. The Rockets shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Free throw no good for Howard. Chicago trailing here. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Here's Jordan. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Chicago shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Two shots. First free throw is good. Chicago making a switch here. Purdue's checked in. Jones checked in for Houston. And so Jordan nails both of them. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Lawson kicks to Jones. Houston moving it around. From down low. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Well, he, he gets it in close, but you have to credit that stifling defense for forcing the miss. Exactly, Greg. I mean, defense like that really increases the degree of difficulty on that shot by a large amount. And again, Chicago, no good. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Ariza has the open look, and it's off from three-point range. Bulls trail by three. Outside Pippen. Purdue the screen. Pippen the pass to Jordan. Five to shoot. It falls through, making him 6 to 11 in the game. Finally, get one to drop after starting the half with four straight clanks. Now, Lawson. He has seven, screened by Howard. Lawson gets to a reason. That is in there. Lawson with the assist. And that's now nine points for a reason. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. 
Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg, and when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Davis has checked in for Grant. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Four point game. Purdue. And it's sent back by Howard. Outside Pippen. Purdue the screen. Shot clock at six. Outside Pippen. No good on the triple. Can't get anything to drop. I mean, the way he's going, it's probably not something he should try and shoot his way out of. <laughs> well, they say you should shoot your way out of it, but his teammates probably have other thoughts in mind. The last thing they want to see him doing is continuing to cast that jumper up. Here's Jordan. Ty Lawson making his last shot. Outside Jordan. Stolen by Harden. And here we go. Harden heading to the hoop. The coast-to-coast -coast dunk. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. They better not. I mean, they've got to pad their lead anytime an opportunity presents itself, and that was a golden one. Now here's Jordan. 15 points in the game. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Jordan's got six here in this quarter. He's got some serious momentum going right now. He's been great all day. Even last game, he was on fire. Williams, he's checked in for the Bulls. Armstrong comes in for Paxson. Houston also making some changes. Brewer comes in for Trevor Ariza. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Ty Lawson. And here are the Rockets now. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Passes it to Brewer. He dishes it to Harden. Shot clock at six. Pulls up. The rebound by Armstrong. Well, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. Such a strong finisher on the fast break. And, Greg, I love the fact he's always in control. Even though he's going at breakneck speed, he still maintains his body control. Now, here's Beverly. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. A shot by Harden. Wide open. And he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. And the Rockets lead by six. Harden's gone four to six from the floor here tonight. Armstrong kicks to Williams. Jordan against Harden. Elbow shot. Jordan's shot is off. Rockets leading by six. A chance here to go two for one. Boy, they've got to ramp up the speed and make it happen in a hurry. Harden outside. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. And as usual, he's the one directing traffic out there, guys. And, and guys, he, he always has such a firm grasp 
of exactly what the game plan is. He's always talking, making sure that all five guys are on the same page. The first one falls. Cartwright's checked in for Chicago. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Monte Yunus has checked in for Jones. Both good from the line that time. Bulls trail by eight. Here's Pippen. He's got nine. The dish to Jordan. One second left. No good. And we've reached the end of the third. Rockets lead by eight. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. Well, welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. Rockets leading by eight. Pippen is out there with Grant. Then it's Jordan. Then there's Cartwright. And it's Armstrong in at the point. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And some nice passing there by Houston. Five on the clock. Beverly dishes to Howard. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Armstrong against Beverly. Armstrong kicks to Jordan. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. That's on Dwight Howard. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Houston. They keep piling up the assists, and they haven't cooled off at all. Something we've also seen them doing tonight is getting the long ball to go down. Big points from outside. And the Rockets making a change here. Lawson's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. They're locked in from the charity stripe this half. Not a miss yet. And trying to cut into this lead, they need every edge they can get. Now, here is Lawson. Feeds to Monte Yunus. And Brewer kicks to Howard. Howard setting the pick for Lawson. Shot clock at three. Shoots. The rebound by Grant. Grant's got his third rebound tonight. Floats one, got it, and the Houston lead has been cut down to just four points with a bucket from Pippen. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now, here is Lawson. Pass to Brewer. Howard in the post. He is guarded by Cartwright. Howard's shot is good. I tell you what, you don't want to allow too many of those kinds of baskets with the game on the line. This is when the defenders really have to protect the basket. You need to be in sync as a unit defensively. Yeah, it looks like he saw some things out there that, that need to be adjusted, and it's going to take a break here and talk it over. Hey, you know, coaches sometimes need a break in the action to rethink and retool a bit. Anytime you, you're in that situation, it makes sense to use the timeout.
catch up with Doris from the sideline. I was able to listen in on what Chicago's coach was going over with his team. He told the squad, now is the time when we turn it on and leave them in the rear view mirror. It won't be easy, but guys, I know we can put them away. Let's see if they can deliver, Kevin. Marcus Thornton, he's checked in for Houston. Screen by Grant. Shot off the screen, and so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Shooting for Chicago, Michael Jordan. At the line for two. Free throw good, Jordan. Well, you have to like how he's challenging the defense now in the second half. Getting to the line for a lot of free throw opportunities. And so Jordan nails both of them. And he's doing a great job at the charity stripe. It's easy to overlook, but those freebies can make the difference. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Shot from 12. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. And 11 points for Watson. Jordan with it. Teardrop shot. And he sinks the layup. That's a precision shot. You've got to be precise. No room for error on the floater. Lawson outside. There's a screen. Pass to Howard. Ariza outside. Six on the shot clock. And again, the Rockets good for two. Bulls trail by six. Now here's Jordan. Blanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. Jordan's got eight points here in this quarter. And they'll be counting on even more points from him. That's essential if they're going to pull this game out. James Harden, he's checked in for Marcus Thornton. Screen by Howard. Dishes it to Harden. Howard setting the pick for Harden. He kicks it to Howard. Back to Harden. Just four to shoot. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Grant's got four rebounds in this game. No good from Jordan. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now here's Harden. Inside, Howard. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got four assists in the game. No matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball in the paint. And it's a big key thus far in this game, Clark, because whenever they've gotten the ball in the paint, good things have happened. 
cannot hit. Nice D from Pippen. Bulls trail by six. Armstrong kicks to Pippen. Armstrong passes to Jordan. 141 left in the game. It's Pippen with... finisher when he gets into that area. You know, he picks the simple one-handed stuff to get the two points. Yeah, and in a close game, though, guys, those could be really important points. And the replay, of course, presented by Kia. What a play. Harden outside. There's a screen by Modi Yunus. And here's Lawson. Six on the shot clock. And he converts the layup. And how about the move he made there to come up and get himself clear in the lane for the deuce? Here's Jordan. And a big pounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Jordan's got 16 here in the second half. Harden outside. The pass to Lawson. 59 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Moniunas gets to a reason. Five on the clock. Shoots it up. Harden's shot is off. And here are the Bulls now, trailing by four. Jordan against Harden. The drive by Jordan. 
cannot hit. Harden with the defensive effort. There was just enough defensive pressure to get him off balance and cause that shot to go awry. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Well, how about Ty Lawson in this one? 13 points, and he's created a lot of chances for his teammates also. And Clark, some of those assists that he's got today have been just electric. free throw is good and that puts them up by five and he cannot convert on the second that misses time running low here a quick score Greg and then probably foul him right away we've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock good that's a huge basket just taking advantage of the size mismatch and able to drain that mid-range jump shot really good basketball no choice but to foul there but but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line but there was no time really to be selective stopping the clock was the priority So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Here's Jordan. And play stops as it looks like they call him over the back here. Yeah, he was boxed out and tried to get the rebound the only way he could. Yeah, he got straight over the back and on top of him there, too. So nothing subtle about that one. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really want. He's got one more, though. And the second of two is good. That puts them up by five. Here's Armstrong. It falls! And he has brought them to within two points. 
No, oh, that's the shot of the game. Well, he was fearless enough to get it up and down, and it paid off for him. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game out. Exactly. I mean, you got to stop the clock any way possible and hope they alligator arm a few of those free throws. First of two, no good. Heartbreaker. That's good. Going one of two from the line, and that makes it a three-point lead. 16 seconds left to play here in the fourth. To tie it up. Misses the trade. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. the first and that gives them a four point cushion and the second free throw no good a tough break there from deep missed and so it's a narrow victory for Houston pulling it out for the double a truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And, Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, Clark Kellogg, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching as we present our Jordan player of the game, James Harden.